Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again today. I wanted to do this practice today as a quick pick me up -er. So something that will energize you. You can do this any time of day between your calls or um, just any time you feel like you've been sitting around for too long and you want to get your energy flowing and moving again through your body. So um, you can do this in your jeans, your street clothes, um, you don't have to change, you don't even need a mat or any props or anything. It's very simple, 15 minute practice that you can do anytime where you just need to get your body moving, your energy flowing and um, feel revitalized or restored. Um, so what I'd like you to do is go ahead and find a comfortable standing position and generally I'd like to do, have my um, feet be hip width apart. So look down, notice that your toes are pointing forward, your knees are pointing forward, and your hip bones are pointing forward. And then let your arms just soften by the sides. You can just kind of wiggle your arms side to side a little bit, soften the shoulders, soften the back of the neck, the jaws are soft. And uh, just find stillness and then begin to, as you find your stillness, begin to feel the bottom of your feet, wherever it is, whether um, you're in your socks, your shoes, or even shoeless or sockless. Just notice the bottom of your feet touching the floor underneath you. Maybe you're outside, maybe your feet can feel the earth underneath you. Just begin to have that sensation of touch. We awaken the sensation of touch. And then begin to notice any light coming in. So sensation of sight. And then see if you hear any noises. So your sense, sense of hearing. See if you can revitalize your sense of hearing. And then sense any aromas, any smells. So revitalizing or awakening your sense of smell and your sense of taste. If you have any particular taste in the mouth and then reawaken all your senses, touch, smell, sight, hearing, taste. And then gently begin to open your eyes and we're just going to do some breathing exercises as we move. So with your inhalation, raise the arms overhead and as you do, begin to come up on your tippy toes. And then as you exhale, slowly lower the arms and lower the heels down to the floor. And do this a few more times with your own breath. Inhaling, lift the arms up, come up on your tippy toes and exhaling, come all the way back down, nice and slow. And then see if you can come up for four counts of inhalation, two, three, four, and then lower for four count exhalation, two, three, four, and continue on with that breath, two, three, four. Maybe you can begin to elongate the breath, and then two, three, four. Maybe you can go to five or six count inhalation, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and continue this with your own breath. Excuse me, I have a late student coming. Come on in, Kuchiru. Okay, go to your bed. Good girl. Kuchiru does a really good downward facing dog. And then one more time, inhaling, lift all the way up to the ceiling. Now just pause here for a moment. And can you soften the shoulders? And then notice that you don't need to tense up the jaws to do this pose. You can just lift up on the toes and perhaps pay, bring your awareness to your belly. See if your um, booty is jutting out. Can you pull the belly in and elongate the tailbone all the way to the to the floor or towards your heels. And one more deep breath in, and then exhale. Lower your arms, lower your heels, come all the way back down to your 
original standing pose, mountain pose, Tadasana. And close your eyes once again. And then this time, bring your big toes together, your heels maybe an inch apart from each other. And begin to raise your left arm overhead and exhale, fold over to the right. And then with your inhalation, coming back all the way to the center, lifting your right arm up, raise your right arm overhead and then reach, fold over to the left. And go side to side like this with your own breath once again, inhaling. The opposite arm lifts up and fold over to the side. Good. And just be mindful that you're um, not leaking a awareness or energy out of the belly so that the belly is pulled in gently, pulling the navel to the spine as you're folding over to the side. And one more time on both sides. And then next time, as you come back up to the center, pause there for a moment. Let your right arm come all the way back down. Inhale, reach that left arm up, but soften the shoulder away. And then exhale, fold. And we're just going to pause here for a moment. Really feel the expansion in that left side body. You feel the left lung expanding with your inhalation. Feel that entire left side body expand. And imagine as if you have, as if you can actually direct your um, breath to the left lung so that you're really expanding the left lung, stretching out the intercostal muscles between the ribs on the left side. Take one more deep inhalation, really pressing down to the bottom of both feet, energizing both legs. Exhale, and then inhale, coming back up to the center, lifting your right arm all the way up. Left arm comes down to the side. Reach up first, extend that entire side, and then exhale, fold. Good. And then hold it here for a moment. Notice if that shoulder crept up to the ear. Can you soften the shoulder away to really make it about a side bend? So it feels good to do a back bend, but Really keep this to the side, pressing down firmly to the bottom of both feet, energizing the knees, the thighs, pulling the navel to the spine just gently. You still want to maintain the integrity of your lumbar spine, but at the same time, you're reaching up to the side. Inhale, soften that right shoulder away. Exhale. And then your inhalation is going to bring you all the way back up. Huh? Inhale, reach up once again. This time, as you're ready, exhale, fold forward from your hips all the way down to the earth. Bend your knees as you're folding forward. This allows you to soften the hamstrings, especially if you have a tighter hamstring. It's always better to bend the knees and then let the head go. And bring your hands to the back of your ankles or the back of your calves. And as you inhale, begin to come up to tabletop pose. So your back is nice and flat, or with a neutral spine. And then exhale, fold once again. Inhaling, coming halfway up to Ardha Uttanasana. Your chest extends forward. And exhaling all the way down, forward fold, let the head go. And inhaling, halfway up once again. Really allow the shoulder blades down your back and exhaling forward fold. Now we're going to change the breath with this a little bit. So inhale, come halfway up, pause for a moment, hold your breath, and then exhale, fold all the way down, and then pause for a moment, hold the breath out. So you inhale for four counts, come halfway up, pause for a count, and then exhale all the air out as you come all the way down, and then hold the breath out, pause. Now, if you remember that you're not forcing your breath in any way, so if, if this pausing of the breath aggravates you, just let go of it, you don't need to pause. Inhaling, coming up. 
and exhale and you fold forward and this time we're going to pause here at the bottom of our breath we can let the breath just be free inhaling and exhaling but let the head really hang knees are bent and i like to even bring my rib cage as close as i can to the top of the thigh so if you need to bend the knees even more to have the rib cage glued to your thighs that's perfectly fine let the head go like it's a ripe tomato ready to be picked just let the head go and feel that any thoughts any worries any feelings of uh, frustration is just pouring out from the top of your head you don't need to hold on to anything that doesn't serve you any longer and as you stay here you may notice a nice opening in the low back Continue to breathe here. And then with your next inhalation, just slowly come up. If you can keep your back nice and flat, that would be great. Then facing the front of your mat, once again, inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. And exhale, bring in your hands by your heart center. And then back into Tadasana, soften the shoulders. One more time, we're going to connect all those. So inhaling, reaching the left arm up, extend to the side. And then inhaling, coming back to the center, reaching the right arm up, exhaling, fold, fold, fold over to the left. Inhaling, coming all the way back to the center and exhaling, fold forward. And let's do this two more times together. So your inhalation lifts you all the way up into Urva Hastasana. Exhaling, fold over to the right. Inhaling, coming back to the center. Exhaling, fold over to the left. Inhaling, coming back to the center. And exhaling, fold forward. And one more time. Inhaling, reach all the way up to the sky. Come up with a flat back and exhaling fold over to the right inhaling coming back to the center and exhaling fold over to the left and inhaling coming back to the center and then pause in your tadasana bring your hands down let the palms open to the front energize your legs press down firmly to the bottom of the feet do those if you have four corners at the bottom of each foot, really press down to all four corners, all eight corners. And pull the belly in gently to the navel, soften the shoulders away from the ears, lift the heart up, the crown of the head reaches up to the sky. And again, return to all your senses, gather all your senses, feel yourself revitalized, Feel the vital restore in your mind. And then as you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you soon. Namaste.